Hey everyone, in this video we would like to uh, learn how to uh, improve or tune a BID controller inside MATLAB. So first we will click on new, then select Simulink model in order to create a new uh, Simulink model. Then we will choose the blank uh, model. Now we are going to maximize the Simulink window. Then uh, first thing we would like to uh, make a closed loop with a BID controller, okay? So we will go to the library browser like this. First thing we will uh, see our uh, input, which is a step function, step, okay? Then right click on this one and add block to the model, okay? Now, second thing, we would like a summing node because it contains the input or the reference value and the negative feedback. So sum, take this one, add block to the model. Another thing, we would like a transfer function which is representing our plant. Okay, right click, add block to the model untitled. Uh, another one which is the BID controller BID right click add block to the model untitled now the last thing the scoop right click add block to the model okay now let's get back we have our scoop which is representing our output in order to see our output we have our BID controller like this we have our uh, plant uh, the one which we would like to control summing node the step input function okay maximize like this tick okay take this transfer function like this and connect it with the scoop okay I exist take the step input to the positive node and the negative node have the out okay so first thing we will go to the step function the step time would like to step at the time equal to zero so it will change from zero which is the initial value to the final value one from zero to one at the time equal to zero okay this is the summing node which takes the input or the reference value minus the out okay in order to produce the error which goes to the BID controller so double click on the sum node I choose the sign positive which is the first one and second one is the negative because we would like a negative feedback okay then the difference between them will go to the BID controller which controls the signal which is going to the transfer function. Okay, now double click on the transfer function. We will choose a second degree which is S square plus 10S plus uh, 5 as an example. So we can S square which is 1 and 10S and the last one 5. Okay, the uh, numerator coefficient is 1 and denominator coefficients are 1, 10 and 5. Okay, you will see here 1, 10 and 5. The first coefficient for S square, second coefficient for S and third coefficient for S to the power 0. Okay, this one representing the uh, element which you would like to control as an example a plant. This is our BID controller, double click on it. Okay, you will find here the controller type. You can choose between BID, BI, BD. Uh, BI, for example, is proportional and integral only. If we click on it, you will see B plus I, one over S. One over S is the integration in Laplace transform. And I is the KI or the uh, integral uh, coefficient or integral uh, value. You can choose BD, which is uh, the proportional and derivative, okay, with a filter, of course, to 
uh, protect the derivative against high frequency signals or high frequency noise as we discussed in the previous video so we'll choose the BID controller and if we have a time domain if we have a analog input so we'll choose a continuous time if we have a sampling time for the BID controller if our BID controller takes a signal for each certain time for example uh, 0.01 it means that after each 0.01 second it will take the input okay there is a sampling method or a digital input but we'll now we'll choose the continuous time okay now we'll choose here you will find the proportional part the integral the derivative uh, coefficient okay for example we will choose a 350 150 and the filter uh, coefficient n which is representing the cut off uh, frequency in radian per second cut off frequency we'll make it one okay now click on apply and okay okay now let's observe the output first like this double click on the scoop Now we will see that here is our out oscillating at the beginning then reaching the steady state of one which is our input remember that we have a step function of one so this representing the final value which is one which is the required value okay now you will see that here there is some problems number one there is a lot of oscillations number two there is a high overshoot this one you will see that the value here the maximum value exceeds 1.4 or nearly 1.45 for example so this value our uh, system may be able to withstand this or not so according to the requirement or according to the withstanding of our system we can change this value is it acceptable or not okay now let's see this is the values which we put to the BID controller to give us this response. Now double click on the BID controller. You will see that here automatic tuning and select tuning method. Okay, you will find here a transfer function based BID tuner app and the frequency response based. We will usually select the first one. Why? Second one has a special cases. Uh, as an example, the frequency response based is used when our plant is unstable. Okay, our plant is unstable around the operating point, okay, which we would like to uh, use in our system. Okay, number two, this one can be used also if our system is non linear. We cannot linearize this system. Okay, so for now, we will choose the transfer function based and click on apply then click on tune you will find that the matlab are going to linearize the plant then we're going to give you the option in order to tune or improve the response of our system now this window opened now maximize it you will see that here this is the original response for our values and this is the tuned response by the program okay now in order to show the parameters in this case and in this case how by clicking on show parameters click on it you will find here the b proportional uh, part integral part derivative and the uh, filter coefficient you will find in the block which i input or i give to the block 350 350 and one and you'll find here this is the tuned by the program the MATLAB tuned the uh, values according to it okay automatic tuning put the B as this value instead of this value integral this value instead of this value and etc you'll find here the performance for our system comparing the tuned the new one and the one which we uh, did according to these values so by using these values we will have a rise time of 1.57 Settling, settling time 5.82 overshoot 7% uh, 
uh, peak value 1.07 uh, gain margin phase margin and closed loop stability you will find here inside the block also the overshoot here was 47 percent the high value which we said before okay but here the overshoot in this one the maximum value is uh, seven percent extra to one okay so we can say 1.07 okay oh, okay <laughs> it shows you here the peak 1.07 as i said now okay now you can find here the response time for the system you can make it faster and you see that the it reaches the steady state faster than before okay or you can make it slower so it reaches the steady state after a long time okay you will see that here this one reaches the steady state earlier than this one but if we make it faster like this it will reach the steady state close to the one okay we we'll make it faster like this and we can improve the transient behavior transient behavior is associated with the oscillations okay let's see if we make it aggressive you will see more oscillations like this okay because we made the response time faster we could make it slower okay or make it faster again you will see that here if we make instead of uh, aggressive we make it robust like this you see that it now have a lower overshoot and takes uh, or the oscillation the system is lower the overshoot is lower okay and you can observe the changes for the rise time settling time overshoot all from here okay now you can do another thing you can click on uh, domain okay here you can find time and frequency time and frequency in the time you can see here transient behavior and response time now if i choose the frequency you can change the phase margin and the other one which is the gain okay phase margin and the gain in the body plot okay as we will see now so by changing the phase margin from 0 to 90 bandwidth as we would like this will give you a same response okay similar to being faster or uh, being slower according to the requirement of your system you will choose the phase margin required and the bandwidth required okay let's get back it another thing add plot you'll see that here in the step and body plot now let's see the step for the open loop response okay this is a response of our system this is the tone and this is the block response this is the response of our system in case if we don't have a closed loop so you see that the amplitude is increasing because it is going to the instability we are not going to a steady state like this okay because it is an open loop not a closed loop and the uh, tuned response making it slower but in the end it is not stable now this is in the step plot now let's another one which is a body plot okay for the plant okay and step okay step for the plant for the plant like this delete this open loop now you will see that here what does this representing this representing the step plot for our plant the time and the amplitude okay now this one representing the body plot equivalent to the plant equivalent to this one okay now another thing if you would like to see the body plot equivalent to this one add plot then reference tracking give you this but reference tracking give you the body plot equivalent to this one you will see here the body plot which is the magnitude in db or in decibel and the phase in degree with the frequency in radian per second okay so you will see that this one uh, dotted one is our uh, block according to my own input and this one is the tuned response 
okay this is our according to my own uh, or the tuned response and this is according to the block response now we'll see that here you can by choosing the frequency by changing the bandwidth if it, we make it smaller you will see that this comes to the left making a smaller frequency allowed okay and the phase margin by moving it like this you will see that it becomes more tight okay or making it the bandwidth smaller in case of the magnitude look at the magnitude and the phase now as you see here by changing the bandwidth more bandwidth means we are taking more uh, frequency or more allowable frequency but making it smaller allows a lower frequency to be inside the body plot okay so now in this video we learned how to tune the BID controller and we saw how to plot the body plot and the uh, reference tracking or the uh, in our system like this by adding the BID controller and in the end after doing your own uh, tuning you will click on the update uh, update block okay and you'll see BID gains applied to block and the block response updated so you close this window and okay and run your system double click on the scoop now you will see that here this is our response which we uh, got from the uh, BID controller now in order to uh, see the steady state we will increase the simulation time okay because uh, in the parameters which we selected it will take a longer time double click you will see here this is the response which we uh, obtained at still reaching the steady state at 1 so in this video we learned how to tune the BID controller don't forget to subscribe to this channel to uh, reach all my videos in electrical engineering. Thank you.